If we write an equation that expresses our utility for different amounts of pizza and cookies, we can use math to arrive at the same conclusions we came to using the graphs earlier. Let's say that our utility for P pizzas and C cookies is the square root of P times C. The marginal utility of pizza is just the derivative of the utility function with respect to P. The derivative of the function U with respect to P equals 1 half C divided by the square root of P times C. When p equals 5 and c equals 2, the marginal utility of pizza is 1 over the square root of 10. In a similar way, we can find the marginal utility of cookies at this point. The derivative of u with respect to c is 1 half times p divided by the square root of p times c. When p equals 5 and c equals 2, the marginal utility of cookies is 2.5 over the square root of 10. With these two marginal utilities, we can represent the marginal benefit of pizza as the ratio 1 over 2.5 or 0.4. The marginal cost of pizza is the price ratio $2 over $1 or 2. Since the marginal benefit of pizza is less than the marginal cost, we should give up pizza for more cookies. When p equals 1 and c equals 10, the marginal utility of pizza is 5 over the square root of 10 and the marginal utility of cookies is 0.5 over the square root of 10. The marginal benefit of pizza is the ratio of these marginal utilities, 5 over 0.5 or 10. This is greater than pizza's marginal cost of 2, so we should give up cookies for more pizza. When p equals 3 and c equals 6, the marginal utility of pizza is 3 over the square root of 18. The marginal utility of cookies at this point is 1.5 over the square root of 18. So the marginal benefit of pizza is 3 divided by 1.5 or 2. This is exactly equal to the marginal cost of pizza we computed earlier using the price ratio. As a result, our indifference curve is tangent to the budget line. If we were to graph this, the indifference curve that passes through the point corresponding to 3 pizza slices and 6 cookies would be tangent to the budget line, just like we saw earlier when we used a graphical approach to think about constrained optimization.